Hey, hey, glad you tuned in. This is the inaugural episode of the SNL Weekly Update. Scott and Lane. Lane. I'm Lane Stone. Scott Sacken here. And Lane, why don't you take it away with what's happening this week in Orange County? That's exactly right. With this installment, we're going to be giving you the weekly news updates and community events. So maybe tying in a little bit of real estate in there. And let's start. Let's kick it off. So last weekend, uh, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, before the, the Super Bowl happens in Huntington Beach, they do something every year. It's the marathon and the half marathon. And one thing that uh, oh, one of the runners did that was really cool, and I, I got the chance to read on the New York Post, was uh, he was dribbling a basketball wearing a Kobe Bryant jersey cool. for the half marathon. He dribbled the basketball the entire time. Wow. And so that was really neat, and it actually inspired us. And, and if you're watching this video today, we're actually going to be posting a video um, of one of our property videos. That's right. So we have a new listing in North Tustin, and, and Gary and I, we were able to shoot a video in honor of Kobe Bryant. I don't know how you guys did that. I mean, I think it's a great tribute, but also showed off you guys' athletic prowess. I couldn't dribble <laughs> basketball from here to the front door. It took a lot of takes. It took a lot of takes. <laughs> but there's little hidden gems in there, too. You'll notice that the video ends at a minute 24, 24 seconds, being for the number that Kobe Bryant wore last as a Laker. Um, so it's a really cool video. We encourage you guys to check it out. Love it. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's take it from athleticism to gluttonism. <laughs> and Take in the Mac and Cheese Festival coming up this Saturday at the West and South Coast Plaza Hotel. Our other team member, Philip Talbert's favorite food in all the world is mac and cheese. He's the aficionado. I think he's probably going to be first in line at that event. But <laughs> it's the quintessential comfort food, and I think it's going to be a great fun event. And of course, the West and South Coast Plaza is centrally located to everybody right near South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa. So you'll want to check that out Saturday, February 8th at 11 a.m. How do you feel about mac and cheese? I like mac and cheese. I like mine. Cool, I mean, hot and creamy in the middle, and very crusty and brown. And on with top. the crunch on top, I'm I, sure we'll have some at that festival. It's got to have the crunch sure. on top. I was no, thinking, no you mushiness. know, in some of our past events, we've done you know pumpkin carving contests, we've done cookie contests, you are right. we've done chili cook-off contests. If Philip loves mac and cheese so much, we should do a mac and cheese contest. There's so many different ways that you can do it, and everybody loves mac and cheese, right? I think that's a great idea. You know what? Our clients have always said that's the highlight of the events is getting to judge, you know, our skills outside of real estate sales and whether it's cookie baking or decorating. I think we should do mac and cheese and watch for that at our next Maybe event. Maybe coming soon. Maybe coming soon. And you'll get to taste one of the best comfort foods ever. And uh, here, here's what's going on at Angel Stadium. So you know I'm a big Angels fan, so I love all the activities going on there. And there's some good activity actually with the Angels trades right now, so I'll just keep an eye on that. But um, every year they have a Monster Jam. Okay. And where these, as loud as fun, kids love to go. It's uh, Monster Trucks just destroying oh, stuff. Okay. And they turn, it's really cool how they prepare the field with all the dirt and everything. I've seen like the commercials. That. It makes me look like it's like a giant, giant sandbox with, um, you know, Hot Wheels cars. Monster Jam and Pit <laughs> Party, February 8th. And just so you know, all the events that we're talking about, if you're watching this on our Facebook page, we're probably going to put the event, the links to the events so you can get to know a little bit more about that. But Angel Stadium, February 8th, Monster Jam and Pit Party. So oh my God. Uh, you might see me there. You might see me there. <laughs> Gosh, you will not see me there. That's, okay. that, that, I'll be honest, that is not my thing. More my style is going to be the uh, 18th Annual Laguna Beach Music Festival, which is uh, February 5th through 8th. So it's going on actually right now. It's an amazing event down in Laguna Beach, which is known for a city you know, of, of artists and our artist venues and you know, catering to everything arts. Uh, you're going to want to check that out for sure. There's too many things and too many... Um, performances for me to mention in detail right here, but there's everything from classical music to uh, vocals. Definitely check out the Laguna Beach uh, Music Festival. There's several uh, events going to be at the Artist Theater, which is the high school theater, which is awesome. There's a big uh, celebration down at uh, the West Street Beach, so check it out. That's an event we might see you at? You will see me there for sure, because I'm more of the guy that likes to just sit and chill, listen to great music, and kind of just internalize everything versus getting... Well, well, the testosterone out of How do you feel about mash. reggae music? No. No, reggae no music's not no. for you? But if no, you're... no, tin, no, tin, uh, what, steel drums? No, no steel no, drums, no, drums no Bob Marley, nothing like that? Not for me. Okay, for but me. if it is for you, we do have a reggae festival coming up in Long Beach, by oh, the way. Oh, there we go. And so on February 9th, <laughs> <laughs> on February 9th, transitioning from classical music to reggae music, on February 9th, there's a One Love Cali reggae fest in Long Beach, and it's going to be a lot of fun over there. That's more my style over the classical style, but you know what? This is why we do these events, because you're going to find one that might be your style, and, and you can go there. But, uh, you know, February 9th, it's happening in three days, the Harry Bridges Memorial Park uh, over in Long Beach Reggae Cali Festival. That's so funny you mentioned that, like, not my style, not your style. It's kind of a great uh, juxtaposition Lane and I have on our team. We're kind of the new school and old school guys, and we're always kind of jousting back and forth. Lane's so on top of technology, I'm more kind of the old school way of doing things, but we found it's a 
from what our clients were reviewing us anyway, they love our old school, new school approach. And it's a combination that's here to stay. And I think we're also just showcasing more of our differences today, but yet they're all complimentary. So far, the, the stuff that we can agree on is the mac and cheese. So that's pretty good. I would say the common ground is the mac and cheese. Mac and sure. cheese brings everybody together. I, I want to be there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, our last item uh, that I want to talk about again is circling back right here in Huntington Beach. And it's again an annual event that brings out people from all over Orange County and the surrounding areas. And that is the Huntington Beach Revolutionary War reenactment. That's coming up February 15th. So for those of you that really like to get into it, you've got like a whole week to dig online, get that costume so you can be absolutely authentic. Whether you're a, a George Washington or a Betsy Ross, who knows what. But I know this thing, people come out in force to watch this. It's always you know, standing room only and a great, great time to step back and get a little bit of history right here by the sea. And if you're a history buff and you might not be familiar with Huntington Beach or the park, the Huntington Beach Central Park is a great location to check out even if you're just in the area. So we definitely encourage you to do so. It's, it's unbelievable. It is. I'm an architecture buff and actually the library in Huntington Beach Central Park is one of the most iconic structures in all of Orange County and it uh, has a big history on its own. It's worth taking some extra time, as Lane said, to maybe stroll the grounds of this great park complex that spans two sides of Golden West Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much what's happening. We caught our eye as far as the uh, weekly happening and events, but we can sprinkle in a little bit of real estate there because we want to talk okay. to you about what's happening in real estate over the last seven days. Tell us. So in Orange County, uh, we had over 600 new listings hit the market, which is good for because we're having an all-time low as far as inventory. Like a lot of the buyers are expressing some concern about not being able to see enough homes, and it's very difficult when they do find one that they like to submit an offer on because there might be multiple offers on the Correct. Um, and I mean, some, some more bad news, I guess, for the buyers that are looking right now is there's over 700 homes that actually went active under contract or pending, meaning that there's more homes being sold right now than there are hitting the market. So we are going to still see a little bit of a lull in the real estate marketplace. So it's really important to get with a real estate team that is able to get your offer and, and kind of rise it up to the cream of the top. Absolutely. It kind of goes back to that thing. If you are thinking about buying this season, you know, the story, the cover letter, that is alive and well as ever. And this is kind of one of those old school things is in today's technology where everything's faceless, everything's submitted online. The letter from our buyers explaining why they love a certain home, giving a little background about themselves. That's often one of the catalysts that rises their offer to the top in a sea of maybe five to 10 offers. So we're happy to talk to you about how that can also work. And then also something though that I do want to give encouragement to for the buyers is we're seeing in our own situation here at the Sack and Stone team, a surge in sellers coming on the market. A lot of our past clients for all different life reasons are saying we're going to be selling this spring. And if that's a microcosm of the market, I think that's going to be good for the market as a whole and for buyers because it's a it could be an arbiter of how their inventory will rise. I mean, we like to think that we have more listings than a, a well, of course. coming to the market, which we, we typically do, but yeah. It, it is, yeah. It, 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 I think there's going to be a lot more listings. Yeah. The rule of thumb is that real estate slows down around Thanksgiving and picks up the day after Super, after Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah, We just happened to Super Bowl, so now you're going to see a little bit more inventory pop yeah. up. So, so I, I, my prediction is I think we're going to see a little bit more of a leveling and, and a level playing field for both buyers and sellers, but we'll see how it plays out and if you stay tuned with us you'll always be ahead of the curve yeah for any of your real estate needs if you love the community as much as we do please give us a call we'd love to help you out whether you're looking to buy sell or even stay yeah. um, we're, we're always here for you and we want to give back to the community as much as possible so thank you so much for watching our first SNL weekly update we hope to bring more great content for you every week and that is a wrap thanks so much for watching signing off <laughs>